Welcome to this yin yoga class. You may need a blanket, a block and a pillow, but it's not necessary. We begin with a simple neck release, so please come to a seated position. Maybe sit up on a block or a blanket to be more comfortable. Hands rest on the knees, extend the crown of the head upward and then drop your right ear to your right shoulder, keeping your chin elevated slightly. Pull your shoulders away from your ears, let your head be really heavy. You can stay here or to intensify it a little bit more, reach the right fingertips out to the side. And you may even bring your left hand towards the top of your left head, not pulling down, but instead think of lengthening the ear further away from the shoulder. One minute in, you may want to dip the chin slightly down towards your right shoulder and armpit to take the sensation more into the back of the neck. One more minute here. Keep your breath slow and full and steady. Bring your head back to center and notice if the side we just did feels any different compared to the one we didn't do yet. Second side, sit up with a nice tall spine. This time left ear comes to the left shoulder, chin parallel to the floor. And if you want to, you can walk your right fingers out to the side always remembering to glide the shoulders down and back and maybe even adding the left hand on top of the head for even more length here. Fully relax into this pose. You can either stay here or slowly rotate the chin down, looking to your left shoulder and armpit, taking the stretch into the back of the neck and your traps and shoulder blades. Be very mindful here and don't go too far. One more minute here. 
And if your mind begins to wander, always refocus back on your breath. Lift back up to center, maybe by pressing the fingertips into your left temple. And then maybe take a few shoulder rolls to release any last tension in this area. Once again, see if the sensations in the neck have changed with those simple postures. Let's come into tabletop pose, so remove any props you've been sitting on. Making our way into melting heart, keeping your hips directly over the knees, walking the hands to the top of the mat as you melt the heart and your chest head down towards the ground. If this feels like it's too intense for you, you can use a block under the forehead. Remember to find your edge, we're not seeking the deepest stretch in yin yoga. On a scale of 1 to 10, we want to stay at about a 5. We will hold this pose for about 3 minutes. Let gravity do the work, soften your neck and upper back as much as possible.
Slowly walk the hands back towards you, using your arm strength to lift back up. You will come into a seated pose, so please cross your right thigh over the left to stack the knees directly on top of the left. And if this doesn't work for you, you could always just come into a simple cross leg position or sitting on your heels. Like so. We're going to come into an eagle arm variation with the arms. So with the arms out in front of you and bending the elbows at 90 degrees, cr cross the right arm underneath the left, binding once or binding twice. If that doesn't work for you, you could just hold on to the shoulders. Think of lifting your elbows up slightly while gliding your shoulders down. We're trying to stretch between the shoulder blades and the upper back area. And we will stay here sitting up for about three minutes. So find a place where you can hold this pose without straining or fidgeting. Release your arms, uncross them, maybe do a few shoulder rolls and then release the legs before coming to the second side, step them wide and do a few windshield wiper motions with the legs and then coming to the second side, this time stacking your left knee directly over your right. Again, bend your elbows at 90 degrees out in front of you and then cross the left elbow underneath the right, bending once or twice or again just holding on to the shoulders. Wherever you are, knees stacking on top of each other or cross-legged, make sure that you can relax your neck and shoulders, roll them down and away from the ears. 
three minutes on the second side. Uncross your arms, do a few shoulder rolls. And then uncross the legs. And again doing a few windshield wipers to get rid of any kinks in the lower back and the spine. Straighten your legs out in front of you, sit up tall. Coming into caterpillar, which is a passive forward fold. So from a tall spine, let your spine round forward, pulling your chin to your chest. Relax your head, neck and arms. There's no reaching towards the feet at all. We let gravity do the work. Keep a slight bend in your knees so that you don't lock them up. Holding for three minutes here. If you notice that your lower back is tilting back, you can sit on a block or on a folded blanket to make it easier. Turn the palms up and soften into this shape. Soften the legs and your feet.
flip your palms facing the mat. Be really mindful of your lower back as we make our way back up. Engaging the arms, pressing onto the mat to lift inch by inch. Neck is the last thing to come back up. Draw one leg and then the other leg in, coming into a seated position, closing your eyes to observe how you feel after just this pose and all the poses that we've done before. And notice what has changed from when you first began this practice compared to right now. Coming into our final resting position, Shavasana, so please lie down on your back. Maybe use a pillow for underneath your head and a blanket to cover yourself so you're really comfortable. Straighten your arms, or straighten your legs, excuse me. Arms go out to the sides and just rest here, making yourself really comfortable and rest in this place of ease and wellness. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, slowly waking back up. Maybe reach the arms up overhead in a big stretch. Draw one leg into the chest and then the other, giving yourself a squeeze before rolling over to your right side. Keep your eyes closed and attention inward. Gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Knees can rest on your knees. Palms come together in front of the heart. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. May you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you, yogis, for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.